1 equals, so I just added up these three uh, salary means together, and I'm going to divide it by 3. That doesn't equal 46 because this is actually based on the sample size of 248. It's, the re it's actually the real mean of males, now, arguably the real mean. But the estimated marginal mean over here of 46,219 is the same thing that I've just added there. It's based on simply adding up the three means together and dividing by three, pretending as if the sample sizes were equal in each group. So that's why it's called an unweighted uh, mean analysis. The uh, type 3 model approach, the sums of squares type 3, that's how it does the analysis. It just pretends that there's no difference between the means. And then, you know, technically, it's actually calculating a, homo a, homo a harmonic mean. Uh, and, and it's weighting, uh, or it's multiplying the sums of squares based on that harmonic mean. I'm not going to go into detail about that, but it's arguably what people should be calling an equal weighted mean analysis, but there's another analysis that uses an equal weighted mean that's different than that. Anyway, it's most, it should be called, uh, it's actually called unweighted means, and what it's doing is it's simply adding up the means across each category and dividing by three, and that's what we get here, 46,219 versus the female mean of 33,722, which also does not equal the female mean over here of 26,000. When you go across all categories, 226 females, their mean is 200, their mean is at, in fact, 26,000 based on the total sample of females, but when you add up the means together and divide by three, this is what you get, 33,722. So it's a pretty big difference, and I suspect a lot of people don't realize that when they're doing a factorial ANOVA, what unequal sample sizes, that that's what's going to happen. Now, the analysis of variance in here is actually based on this type of, these type of means, uh, rather than the unweight, the un, rather than these types of data points. Uh, so that's also an important um, observation to make, is uh, the ANOVA is based on this. Whether you should report your means based on this in an actual report or a manuscript, I don't know. Uh, to be honest, I haven't cracked that nut. I, I'm not sure if you should be reporting both, or uh, it seems to me you probably should be reporting both. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, so I'm just going to carry on. Uh, I'm just pointing out the difference between those means and that and what SPSS is doing, uh, and um, that you should um, bear that in mind. Now here are the pairwise comparisons, and this is basically the same analysis. It's it's just comparing the difference between the means uh, between um, males and females, and uh, it gives you a standard error, and. Uh, it, it, uh, I'll note that uh, the difference of the difference between 46,219 minus 33,722.396 equals 12 equals 12,496, and so that's not the s it's using these means here. It's not using the means in the descriptive statistics table I showed you above. And it has a standard error of 19, 000, uh, 1,949, and it's statistically significant. Let's actually check to see that it's exactly the same as the main effect. Actually, I don't think it'll nah, I wonder it'll be too far. So 3.57 was the um, mean there. Let me just check the. Yeah, it is the same. So it's exactly the same. 3.57. Um, at t t 10 decimal places. So it's giving us exactly the same um, alpha level, uh, P level in this analysis. So that just proves that the analysis of variance here is not actually based on these means over here. It's based on these means over here. And uh, so we get uh, the pairwise comparisons, and why this isn't as interesting as it usually would be is because there's only two means, so it's going to be the same thing as the ANOVA, but for the employment category, then we actually have uh, the means 
uh, that are more interesting because we don't get this information. Although, uh, I mean, from only the omnibus ANOVA. But we do find that the clerical mean versus the custodial mean is, in fact, so clerical.